Welcome everyone, welcome to today's video. And today is a special one. As you can see, we are showing you the third person view. I have a camera placed over my shoulder so you guys can see exactly what I am seeing on my 49 inch Samsung Odyssey G9 ultra wide monitor commonly just referred to as an ultra wide monitor some of you may be intrigued to exactly what it is this monitor provides and what i am seeing on the other side of the camera now we're going to do a formula 3.5 video at imla because i love an open wheel series as you guys well know and i'm hoping that this showcases what this monitor and this setup has to provide i plan on doing plenty more of these in the future as well this style of video and i am still playing around with the lighting and the quality of the camera and there's a few things i need to iron out and possibly purchase to improve this style of video so please let me know what you think in the comments below i'm really intrigued to hear your feedback whether you enjoy this style of video or not as well you will see that I'm not having any overlays on my actual monitor at the moment because I wanted to give as an authentic feel as possible. So the overlays that you can see on the video are for your eyes only. You would be able to see that I only have my black box relative, my FPS counter and my steering inputs as well and throttle control. So let's head into it because this was definitely an emotional race. There was plenty ups and downs, but an enjoyable one nonetheless so let's head into it remember to hit the like and subscribe button turn those notifications on and enjoy the track temp is 27 the air temp is 25 Celsius. here we go 24 laps get ready mate it's hammer time floor it green 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 Lift off here. Car left. He's still there. Oh. Clear left. There's an incident in. Tamburello. Car left. I'll take that. I'll take that. Clear left. Car left. Hopefully no damage still from going there. over the curves. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Good start, mate. Nice one. Oh, I really hope I got no damage from that. Really hope. Left side. Still there. Still Bit there. Clear left. Car right. I think he's got damage. Right side's clear. Yeah, he's got no front wing. On your right. Still there. Oh my god. Hold your line. Right side's clear. Oh, but fair fine. Difficult in the dirt, yeah. The leader 
have just done a 131.2. Push the pass Hold this time. Clear right. Fucking great pass, mate. Well done. Oh. So I feel we've been fortunate to get away with no damage. Need to be careful this guy behind. He's showing his nose. Incident in Aquaman Oh, it's two of them gone off there. Tough there. Oh, uh oh, oh, three. Three wide. Clear left. Clear all round. Three wide. <laughs> Car left. Clear left. Oh, it's definitely a time to use push to pass. Side. He's still there. Clear left. P8. Fastest lap. Good pass. Well done. Don't be distracted. Defend your position. The recovery is on. That must have been Nick Cove, mate. I definitely wasn't close to the other. A good last couple of corners here. Break the toe. Really need to defend that. As tight as could be. Oh, hit the inside of the grass. What was she doing? On your right. Clear right. Right side. He's still there. Right. Oh, drifted out, man. Wasn't intentional. Couldn't keep it. Sorry, Matisse. That was understeer, buddy. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. I see accepting my apology. Will on will. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 0.9.
An eventful few laps. Just done a one thirty point four. Track limits. I think I'm down on top speed. That was at 131.7. Yeah, I'm about a session. second down on Sector pace. One is off the pace. The guy behind is catching the gaps now, 0.7. track force him to find the gap damn it I got a tall X for that in front has increased. It's yeah, now sorry about it. It seemed like a net code as well. You were nowhere near me. Incident in Tamburello. Oof. The guy behind has just done a 130.6.
gate. The gap in front is now 3.0 seconds. Just done it on thirty point two. Oh, he's gone wide. Incident in Tamburello. I missed the gear. <clears throat> Shifted down too much. Jesus, I nearly lost it as well. Don't do that, Scott. Gain a position and then lose it. Oh, Mattis has just lost it. Sees relative. Drop him back. The leader has just done a 129.9. See if we can maintain this. Just two and a half seconds. Regardless. Good recovery drive, if so, with all the incidents we've been through. Oh, he's lost it. He has lost it. I've just looked at the relative and he is now, front is now 9 11 and a half seconds, seconds behind. So he's lost it through the chicane. Starting to feel the tyres get very squirrely now. So people making mistakes at the latter stages of this race. Let's try and not become one of them. And there we are, across the finish line, P7. Seventh position. Okay, it's over. Well done, mate. Good finish. 41 I rating gained, considering that we, <laughs> the first lap we had, avoiding incidents, hitting the wall, spinning, having contact. I will take that. So let's have a look back and see if we picked up any damage. The start was a little bit crazy, wasn't it? Um, I didn't really see what happened. I was just worried about not getting caught up in it. <laughs> so it made a good start, a couple of positions there off the line. And then, of course, this many single seaters going into the first corner. Full tank of fuel and cold tyres. Oh, yeah, big, big incident there. And we went over the sausage curb. I've seen this damage model be affected quite severely by those sausage curbs. Can't see anything visually from this angle. And then 
up our side here and then this bit was so frustrating because we got the move done got a bit too eager on the throttle obviously full tank of fuel the car grounds out on that curb cold tires as well and well i uh, don't know if you guys can see it already but i'm pretty sure <laughs> that's supposed to be like that <laughs> not scraped up and bent going in 10 different ways Oh, let's, let's have a look at the front and side of the car. So the side of the car seems to be intact. The front of the car seems okay, which I'm a little bit intrigued by because uh, didn't we hear nose first? We'll have a look back in a second. And then on the side, even though the fence is in the way, definitely seems like it's intact there. But yeah, we can pretty much see here as we go back round that 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 is that is not supposed to be like that is it not whatsoever so let's have a look back and just see exactly what happened here how we made contact of course we i know exactly how i've ground out full throttle here full tank of fuel cold tires and the, the, the left it's no surprise but the left rear is the one that's come round on me uh, the astroturf is slippery enough at the best of times let's have a little zoom out and yeah, definitely went front left wing in first, which stayed intact, which I'm really surprised about, actually. Quite fortunate enough, because otherwise you do have to pit for a repair uh, for a front wing. It really kills your performance. And although that's not ideal, it's livable. Um, I knew I was down on top speed and maybe that was affecting me for the corners as well. I feel like I could break later in practice in this new setup. Um, especially for Aqua Minerali, then I was able to, of course, from the first lap onwards. So, and there's no surprise why. Uh, but we also got caught up in a couple of other incidents uh, with Mattis. Uh, let's have a look and just see exactly what happened in both of those. So we're on board with Mattis here as we are running up the hill. And yeah, he definitely got in the draft there, didn't he? Went for an overtake round the outside. Does me on the brakes, but of course, that's not the ideal line. And... Well, I said at the time I understeered. Let's just have a look back and see if that was the case. I mean, it is a corner that is off camber. The nature of the corner takes you to the outside anyway. And let's have a look here and just slow it down. So he's gone a bit deep. He's tried to outdo me on the brakes. Of course, he has to travel more ground to take it round the outside here. And well, I'm completely off throttle. I've got on the curb a little bit, so maybe that's why that pushed me out a little bit right. And then, of course, he's turning in. Thankfully, wheel on wheel. Did he turn in a little bit too soon? Probably. So, a little, just a racing incident. He said it was all clean and all good at the time. Of course, the risk there is on the person really kind of taking uh making the overtake on the outside very risky um and yeah we were side by side thankfully none of us uh came away with any damage there but i then lost it a few laps later at aqua minerali so here we are coming through the same section just a few laps to go with our incident with mattis or our wheel on wheel action and then I just carried too much speed and well yep um, Mattis caught me there and got a 4x which is a shame only reason I spun there guys and turned the car around when I did is because I knew we were about 14 15 seconds ahead of the cars behind uh, otherwise I would have just pulled away from the racing line if I had enough time to do so or I would have stayed where I was so that I was predictable uh, but yeah, knew I had plenty of time. So let's run that back and just have a look exactly what I did. I, I, I know what I did. I, I remember it quite vividly. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, as I said, struggling through this corner, all kind of race and no one, no, quite understandable really with a, uh, a less than ideal rear wing. I always felt loose going into this corner. Couldn't, didn't feel comfortable on the brakes as I have been uh, in the laps that I did before jumping into this session on this new setup uh, but yeah one of those thankfully i was waiting just waiting 
to be t-boned and thankfully we wasn't uh let's just have a look at rear chase so on rear chase angle let's see how close this contact actually was was there a gap was it net code god knows how mattis even saw where he was going and ooh, it's close it's close let's just move that round and see if we can see anything frame by frame and i mean you could arguably say there isn't even any contact there but we've seen obviously wider gaps <laughs> with netcode but if they're supposed if that's a 4x then why isn't my front wing bent in i mean god knows what my front wing was made out of today guys it survived two impacts uh and collisions today one with the wall and i'm with the front right tire front left tire of mattis and it's uh, yeah survived both times uh, that's very rare uh, very very rare that that happens so yeah an odd one that and uh, i think mattis was quite surprised as well as he came on the radio and said so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that race for what it was worth and of course the camera angle from the third person view uh something i'm going to be doing moving onwards i really hope that i can improve of course the quality of these videos moving forward as well i'd like the image to be clearer i'd like it to be more colorful and vibrant and uh yeah a little bit of tinkering around to do but this is a video that we can look back on and only improve on as well so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it all round hit me up in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these videos and what car and series you'd like to see next from this angle uh intend to do plenty more of these moving forward so yeah hit me up in the comments below like hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you for the next one bye